The world's largest insect farm. A high-tech facility that sprawls across 35,000 square meters and will produce 15,000 metric tons of protein from fly larvae each year. Opened in April in Nessel, France. If all goes to plan, it will be upstaged in December by a 45,000 square meter farm outside of Amiens capable of producing over 100,000 metric tons of mealworms per year. That record stands to be tied or broken by at least two more fly hatcheries slated to open in 2024 and 2025. The race is on to build the world's biggest bug farm. A nascent drive to cut greenhouse emissions from animal feed has spawned a new industry, flush with venture capital, that promises to one day produce vast amounts of protein with fewer greenhouse emissions than traditional suppliers. Inside the cutting-edge farms, companies rear squirming masses of crickets, mealworms and fly larvae within temperature-controlled plastic vats designed to help them grow quickly. They process the insects' feces into fertilizer and their bodies into protein and nutrient-rich oil for pets, fish and livestock. The bugs feed on food waste, often piped in from nearby farms or food processing plants. They're tended to day and night by human handlers and AI-powered robots that keep the factories churning out protein 24-7. Although humans have been eating insects for millennia and billions of people still do today, insect startups are not, for the most part, marketing bugs for human consumption. Instead, they're looking to wriggle into the market for animal feed. If insects are reared on food waste and grown close to the farms or food processing plants that will eventually buy them, they can be a more sustainable source of nutrients than standard alternatives such as soybean feed or fish meal, scientists say. We're not proposing that we're replacing any of the food on your plate, said Christine Picard, a biology professor at Indiana University Purdue University Indianapolis who does genetic research on insects farmed for protein. What we're proposing is to hopefully make some of the food that shows up on your plate more sustainable. Insect startups have raised over $1 billion in venture capital since 2020, and they're now vying for dominance in the small but growing market for bug protein. It blows my mind not just how the industry is exploding but how the research behind it is growing at the same level," said Jeff Tomberlin, an entomology professor at Texas A&M University who founded a fly farming startup called Evo Conversion Systems. Some of the wind beneath the insect industry's wings has come from big agriculture. Last month, meat titan Tyson Foods invested in Prodix, a Dutch startup that raises black soldier fly larvae. These bugs are favored by farmers because they'll eat almost anything and grow quickly. Food processing giant Admiral signed a similar deal in 2020 with another soldier fly startup called Innovafeed, based in Paris.